Hi, I'm Neil and I am going to show you how to replace the motor on a Project Debut 3 turntable. My turntable wasn't working and I realised it was quite a simple piece of kit. There's not much can go wrong with it uh, or you can highlight what's wrong with it quite easily. I've had it since about 2003, never had any trouble with it. I tested the power supply and the power supply was working so I guessed that it must be the motor. So I phoned up a hi-fi repair company and they told me a new motor would cost £50 and it would cost £25 to fit. Now a new turntable would be £250 so it's a bit of an investment on the cost of the turntable. So I looked around and I found a replacement motor. There we go. Which has four wires coming out of it. I just looked on the bottom of the, the, the motor and it said M303 so I found a suitable replacement for £38 and I thought I'll give it a go at replace myself and if I fail then it's £25 still to spend and if I succeed I've saved myself £25. So the motor's quite simple it's got two sets of two wires coming out of it one at the bottom one at the top and these correspond to the wires that are in the motor that's currently in the system so let's take a look at how I did it Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of everything from the turntable that's going to fall off once we turn it over because that's going to make everything a little bit easier and steadier uh, once we start playing about with the innards. You've got the disc here, you've got the belt, they can just all come off. Now you might want to remove the little weight from the tone arm and now we can see uh, we have the motor which we're going to replace. So I've now turned the turntable over and we have these two plastic covers here which we need to remove in order to get in at the old motor. Got a little dish here to put all the screws so they don't go missing. You'll see that that one's connected into the, the power input, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful with that bit, and it makes it quite a tight area to get into. So, in here we have some wires coming out the motor these correspond to the wires on the new motor and we're just going to remove them from the power unit there's some little pieces of foam which hold down the wires I'm just going to pull them out with the tweezers at this point it might help you to take a photo of the wiring so that you can see where each of the colours of wire go when you reinstall the new motor. So for each wire I'm just going to heat the component to melt the solder and then tug gradually at the wire until it comes out. The last one's been quite stubborn So I'm just going to snip it off. Okay, now that the wires have been removed from the, the power supply, the motor, the only thing that's holding the motor to the body of the turntable is this elastic band which is put round four little screws. So we're just going to remove that on either side and then we have the motor on its own. Okay we can look at the, the new motor here the black one and the old broken motor the silver one and we can see that we have the piece here that holds the rubber band to drive the turntable so we're going to remove that there's a little screw just here so we just unscrew that and then pull it off
Okay, the next part, which isn't on the new motor, is the casing, which holds it onto the body of the turntable. And connecting this are two small screws either side of the motor. So we just unscrew them. Now we just put those components back onto our new motor. So here we have the three ears of the power unit that we're going to attach our wires to. You might want to clean these up a little bit, but as long as you've got a little loop to feed the wire through, you should be fine. So I've now put the new motor in, and starting with the back wire, I've looped it round the little eye hole, ready to solder in place. Now we piece it all back together. And now to test it. Looks good. 